Hello everyone. Uh, today we are here doing an unboxing of the brand new Unicor iMini launch monitor. This is the brand new launch monitor from Unicor based off their IXO technology. It's going to be a portable launch monitor, which is something that everyone's really been looking forward to. Uh, it has a lower price point where it starts off at $4,500. Uh, so I guess without much further ado, let's take a look at what's in the box. Put those flaps open. Let's take a look. Oh wow, that case that it comes with. That is a nice, heavy case. Solid siding that is very heavy. I wonder how much of that is the, the Unicor versus the case itself. Um, you can see it's got a nice, has a nice carrying handle and then it comes with like a, a shoulder strap for easy transport. So this is a nice solid case. Uh, like I said, it's got some hard sides, so that's gonna be great if you are transporting it around, maybe doing some traveling with it. Uh, it's gonna be nice and protected on, like maybe taking on a flight or something like that, or even just from your, your house to the driving range. Uh, put it in your car and you're not gonna have to worry about it getting banged up in the car, because that is, that thing is solid. Unzip it here. Here we go. Oh, wow. That looks really nice. The case has got this nice foam interior that's molded around the actual launch monitor. So it, nothing is gonna shift around in there. Everything is held in place. Um, we've got, let's see, what is this here? We've got power cord and a power brick uh, for charging and, and keeping it all plugged in in this slot. Oh, we've got something else down at the bottom here. So what we've got are the club stickers for the iMini. Um, put that on to get all of your additional club data. And it comes with some tweezers for applying those accurately to your, your clubs. So you're making sure to get the most out of the, uh, the data that you're getting from your launch monitor. And up here, it looks like it's just the, yep, the ethernet cable that you can plug into the iMini um, and use that uh, to plug into your computer if you don't want to use the wireless mode. All right, now for the actual launch monitor itself, we'll be kind of careful taking this out of here. Oh, wow, that is a nice, heavy piece of equipment. So taking a look, First impressions, this thing looks amazing. You can see it's got the two cameras for reading the golf ball. Um, I don't know if you can see the display up top. Nice raised buttons, easy to find what you're looking for. I don't know, is there power to this right now? Perhaps if we turn it on. Oh, there we go. All right, so we've got the, the iMini powered up here. Um, you can see the screen even with this lit room um, it's super easy to read i think i've heard that the screen they use on it is similar to like the uh, technology you'll see in some e-readers out there that make it really easy to see during daylight um, otherwise they've got this button here that you can push that will also illuminate the screen um, at the back again you can see down here it looks like they've got a rubber stopper in to pull that out and then down here, we've got the, let's see here, it's labeled DC in. It looks like there's a USB-C connection in the middle and then a port for your ethernet connection. So you can use those if you're playing indoors, um, but then if you're taking it outside, just plug this rubber stopper back into place and it's gonna protect all of those inputs. Help keep dust and dirt, maybe if there's some moisture around, that sort of thing out of there. So we can see on the front, uh, we've got the cameras top and bottom. You can see the LED lights flashing. See up here is the indicator light telling you whether it's able to see the golf ball or not. Um, it should be red right now. And then when it actually detects a golf ball in range, um, it will turn green. And I think we've got a golf ball here. So just to kind of show you, you can see it's detecting a golf ball is there but it's out of the hitting zone 
And now I'm just kind of holding it down here. There you go. You can see it sees the golf ball. It's ready. If you move it in the hitting zone, it will detect that you moved it and show you where in the hitting zone it is. And again, if you move it out of the hitting zone, we'll just go back to searching. And it will tell you that it's out of the zone and kind of show you where it is so that you can position it correctly. You can see it's red, it's searching. It can tell that there's a golf ball there right now. So it's flashing that kind of yellow green, but the golf ball is not in the hitting zone. If we move it, forward just a little bit you'll see that the indicator light will turn I'm not sure if you can see but that has turned solid green now up here it says ready and we are ready to take a shot um, so great feedback really easy to tell you know if the launch monitor is ready to go or if you need to make any adjustments uh, the hitting zone is going to be about 12 inches by about 8 inches so a nice large area for being able to hit out of um, so if you're taking divots at the range or something to start moving the whole launch monitor, you can just adjust your golf ball inside that hitting zone. When you actually have everything lined up, I mean, it's a, a pretty good distance from the launch monitor to the golf ball. Um, the sky track, it's more, you know, really close. This, you've got a, a good ways from the launch monitor to your golf ball. So you know, much less chance of having a shank shot or something like that fly over and, and hit your new i mini uh, so in the box you're not going to have um like any software downloads or anything but what we will do is we will send you an email with a link that will show you exactly what you need to do you will download the unicorn launcher and then from there what you'll do is download the view software onto your computer or your ipad depending on how you're going to be using it or both Obviously the iPad software is going to be brand new for Unicore with their new portable launch monitor. Download View onto your iPad, take it out to the range and start working on your game. So that's everything that comes in the box. Uh, so far, it, to us, it seems like it is a really well-built launch monitor from Unicore uh, using that IXO technology. Um, so I'm very excited to try it out and see if it is as accurate as we're hoping. So we're really excited to get this out to the range, start shooting with it and doing some tests like we've done in the past with like the, the Mevo Plus and the SkyTrack. Uh, so make sure you stay tuned for that. And as always, make sure you like and subscribe for more content on building your own golf simulator setup.